So, you're going to update the GPS maps on your 2014, 2015, 2016 Land Rover 4 or Discovery 4. And you order this, the Here Maps Update on the USB. It's going to come like that. It's going to come with some paperwork. It's going to have the activation code on that paperwork. It's going to have these, these instructions and your USB stick. I've gone through the instructions. And the main thing is your car has to be on. Uh, when you go through here, you're, you're not going to be able to use any of the entertainment system. No navigation and no use of the tele telephone functions. The engine must be running. So let's go ahead and turn on the car. on, everything's scanning, and it says, uh, under no circumstances must the USB stick be removed from the USB slot. If the car turns off or you turn it off and you turn it back on, it will resume. So we're good there. So let's pull this out. Which USB? This one? Or this one? I'm thinking it's probably this one. Let's see. All right. Let's see. I never get this on and done the right. It's a lot of putting it there. Light is flashing. Let's see if anything happens over here. It stopped flashing. Let's see. In control apps. I think I might have put it in the wrong slot. Let's put it in this slot. See if anything happens over there. That's flashing, flashing, flashing. There you go. Map disk update available. Do you want to perform the update? Approximate time is two hours, 33 minutes. Continue. License code. Okay, let's see. I put in the license code, updating maps, updating map data, 0%. The car is on. Make sure you press the eco and the eco start stop is off because you don't want the car to turn off. <laughs> so DVD, CD not available during map update. Updating map data. So it's not in that one, it's in this one. Okay, there you go. All right, so that's doing its thing. Uh, still 0%. I'll update in a minute. While waiting for the approximate 2 hour and 33 minute installation process and we're still at zero percent i wanted to go over something that it says in the instructions it's pretty simple and pretty important 
The next steps are crucial to successfully completing the map upload and must be adhered to. Failure to do so may result in an incomplete upload and loss of navigation functionality. Allow a minimum of three minutes for the navigation to restart. Once the navigation has restarted, turn the engine off. Exit the vehicle, lock it, and leave it for a minimum of 15 minutes before re-entering and turning the ignition on. Upon following the above steps as required, the navigation map should now be successfully installed, and it may be required to update any favorite locations or routes from a previous installation as necessary. And that is the important one. We are still at 0%. I'll update in about two hours. All right. About 10 minutes later, 5%. Cool. Uh, last update, I think, was at, uh, at 445. And now it's 536 and 45%. Moving right along. A little update. 627, 80%. All right. All right, it is now 741, and this is the screen you get. Map loading is now finished. Press OK to restart navigation in order to use the new map data. So we're going to press OK. And remember what it said, at least three minutes for navigation to start. So I'm going to wait a full three minutes, then exit the vehicle, lock it, wait 15 minutes, and then restart. All right, exited the car for the 15 minutes, actually more like 17, 18. It's 8.06. Come over here. Oh, a little bit different. Some color in there. Wow, that's pretty cool. Let's see if there's anything different. That looks the same. Oh, my phone battery <laughs> yeah all right so there you go looks like it's a success let's see navigation menu uh, more navigation setup oh that looks pretty cool that looks very different return to map all right it looks like uh, it's a success. All right, everybody. Enjoy your map update. 2020 was the last year that they made it. They're not going to make any new ones. Hey, it's better than my 2015 maps that were on this car. or They were probably from 2014. Who knows? But uh, any little bit is better. I don't want to replace the whole thing with the new CarPlay stuff yet. But I do hear that there is a complete replacement here that makes it just like the... the Discovery 5. All right, maybe that's for another day. Have a great one, everybody.